Hmm, how can I get better at motion design? To know where you're going, you must first determine where you currently are. All movement is a measurement, and all measurement is a comparison of points. Points, like keyframes. If an animation is to take place, there must be a starting key and an ending key. Like motion, your progression to become a better motion graphic artist must be marked with keyframes. I like to separate my markers into three M's. One, mechanics. Two, motion. Three, message. These markers are like points on a circle. It's not so important where you start. It's more important that you complete the loop. And to complete the loop, you must pass through all points. If you're familiar with the program of choice, you'll be tinkering at the mechanics key. If you're an animator, you'll feel right at home with the motion key. If you're a designer or artist, you'll understand the message key more. Irrespective, you have to pass through all points to complete the loop. Mechanics is all about specifics. What tool allows me to achieve the result? It involves the most research. Often enough, there are many ways to solve a problem, so you will need to shift through your options and find the best answers. Motion. Motion is all about the science of movement. Interpolation, extrapolation, principles of animation, bounce, squash, stretch, transition, rotation and scale. This key is serious fun and can easily carry away. The motion key is the most technical of the three stages. The message is about the plot, the feeling, the meaning, consistency and cohesion, pacing and flow. It's about the overarching design, the narrative, the vocals and the music that makes up the piece. Motion graphic design doesn't exist in a void and the best motion graphics intertwine all of these elements to tell an effective story. So, how do I get better at motion design? Find out where you are along the timeline, so you know the markers you need to travel to to complete the animation.